Dr. Jeff DIY here. My Jeep had a rough idle and the factory service manual said to clean the throttle body. First you got to take off the air hose, as I'm doing here. Then there's three electrical connections, one in the front, two in the back. Take those off. Then the one in the back here to the idle air control has a positional nature to it, so I'm labeling it with tape to make sure that I put it back in in the correct way. Then you got to take off the cables, Let's pull on that one. as I'm showing here. Pull on that one. And after that, there are four 10 millimeter bolts to get the throttle body off. Move the throttle body and take a look. Look at all that debris, all kinds of gunk. Here's a look inside the intake and you can see some deposits in there as well. Then I'm gonna clean it up. Look at that, all that soot. That was the gasket, which has pretty much become plastic. I'm gonna place a rag in here to prevent anything from falling inside the engine. Now I'm gonna clean up the outside with an old toothbrush and the cleaner, just wiping up that deposit. Here you can see it looks a lot cleaner. Now with the throttle body, you have to remove the various parts. Each has a T20 screw. You can see all that soot. Taking off the idle air control. Look how nasty that is. Oh my gosh. A lot worse than I thought. That is... Now that's the throttle position sensor. And this is the manifold air pressure. It's attached with a right angle rubber tube. Uh oh. I don't know if it was cracked like that or if I did it. Here's the before with all those deposits, and here's the after, after I cleaned it all up. Looking sharp. Now I'm gonna work on the IAC. This oh. thing is just, I think, beyond repair, so I'm gonna get a new one. Here's the throttle body gasket from Felpro. Here I'm showing you the throttle position sensor. That little tab needs to be just to the clockwise right of 12 o'clock. When you put it back on, it's 60 inch pounds and you need to operate the throttle manually to make sure it's not bound up before you put it back on the Jeep. Here's for the map torque settings. I'm not sure if I should have replaced this or not. And definitely that rubber right angle became a real pain as I'll show you. Here's the replacement kit that I was able to find that has a variety of rubber attachments but they don't actually match up exactly as you can see so i had to cut it down with a knife and then see if it fits into the map and then also test the length to get into that little nipple for the actual throttle body itself Online. if you do decide to remove that your map like i would highly advise that you buy a specific fitting L 90 degree rubber tube online ahead of time made exactly for your Jeep instead of this generic kit. When you put it back on, it's really light torque setting. And there you have it. Next, the IAC. This is the model I bought. You can see it's much cleaner. Looks a little different, I think because the original one was bound in that position. This is the torque setting for it. The IAC is supposed to help with the resting idle, so I was hopeful that this would make an impact. Now I'm gonna replace with a fresh gasket, get it all lined up, and then hand start the bolts, making sure they're not cross-threaded. Then you tighten it in a star pattern, much like you would put on a wheel the setting is 100 inch pounds. At this point, reconnect the electrical connectors. That one there is a tr throttle position. Now it's the IAC, and I had it marked, so I had it in the correct orientation. Now you just reattach your cables, snap it on for the first one, then you pull these two back on. Now it's time to replace the air hose. Get the clip on first, get it in position, get it back to the air box on the other end. 
tighten those clips, and you're pretty much done. I hope this video is helpful. If you found it enjoyable or helps you out, please give it a like so it's easier to find by others, and consider subscribing. This is Dr. DIY Jeff signing off. I'll see you the next time something breaks.